New at 10, local artists are working to preserve a part of Chicago history. Hand-painted signs that could date back almost 100 years. CBS 2's Maribel Gonzalez tells us how they were discovered and where they could be going. They say an old home can sometimes be full of hidden treasures, and such is the case of this building located on Addison Street and Ravenswood Avenue in North Center. Luckily, those were discovered just days before it was set to be demolished. Behind these four walls of this North Center building lie several nearly 100-year-old gems. Them taking off the aluminum siding of this building unraveled a amazing, amazing uh, finds like a holy grail. Bob Behonig is a longtime local sign painter, and he's referring to these hand-painted signs that were discovered during the process of tearing down the structure. I saw the artwork, and I knew right away that this is a very historic piece. Bob was asked to come inspect them. He believes at least one of them was painted by a man who would later go on to become one of the founders of the Beverly Sign Company, a prominent Chicago-based sign shop that operated around the 1940s. What's unique about them isn't solely the retro style, but also the material that they're painted on. These, these signs here are painted on wood. Most of the wall signs in Chicago are all painted on brick. And I have never seen a, a sign painted on wood like this. And now he and a group of local artists are racing against the clock to get these salvaged before the building is demolished on August 22nd. Today, one of the signs did. Todd Swarmstead drove down from Cincinnati to take down this sign board by board and display it at the American Sign Museum. We'll put it back up inside so it won't be subject to any more weather, but it will be preserved for everybody to see. The fate of the other signs here is now in limbo, but Bob, along with fellow artists, are hoping to find a home for them as well. We, we want to save history here. This is our this is our mission, and we know how important this is to the, to Chicago. Those local artists have started an online campaign to raise funds to remove these signs. For now, they plan on housing them in a safe location until they can find a local museum to display them. In North Center, Maribel Gonzalez, CBS 2 News.